Today, the U.S. is sanctioning Iran's morality police for violence against women. The Treasury Department also sanctioning seven, seven senior security officials linked to violence used to suppress demonstrators. Unrest broke out after a 22-year-old died while in police custody last week. NBC News Tehran Bureau Chief Ali Arouzi is joining us now from his post in Iran. So, Ali, two questions here. What can you tell us about these sanctions and what do we know about these seven leaders that the Treasury Department is singling out? Hey, Aaron, that's right. The Treasury Department has uh, sanctioned the morality police over the death of Massa Amini, and generally because they enforce very misogynistic laws against women. Uh, they've also sanctioned seven very senior members of the military and security apparatus here, amongst them the intelligence minister, uh, the deputy head of the Basij. The Basij is a militia that answers to the Revolutionary Guard, uh, senior members of the police force. These guys are all entrusted with keeping people in line. If there are protests in the country, uh, it's them that have to quell the protests. So they have been uh, sanctioned. I think we have uh, a statement from the Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen uh, on the screen. She said, uh, we condemn this unconscionable act in the strongest terms and call on the Iranian government to end its violence against women and its ongoing uh, violent crackdown on free expression and, and assembly. Um, so the sanctions, Aaron, are more than anything else symbolic. They're not going to have any real effect on how the morality police or those seven individuals operate because they don't really have any interests in the states. Yeah, I do want to ask you very quickly. We've seen these reports about uh, Iranians saying that there are widespread Internet blackouts in that country. They're not able to get on Instagram and WhatsApp, which are used for communication in a lot of ways. How has the Iranian government been responding to that? Well, well, there's been a, a massive crackdown here. Uh, there is a lot of security apparatus on, on the streets. Uh, and now they're telling the judiciary to crack down as well. The Revolutionary Guard Corps uh, had issued a statement. I think we have a full screen of that as well. They said, we request the, the judiciary to identify uh, the rumor spreaders and liars uh, who spread rumors on social media and endanger the mental security of society. So there's going to be a big roundup of people on, on a camp kangaroo show trials. All right, Ali Ruzi, thanks. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.